Welcome back to lesson 19 of 5 Minute Wing Chun, uh, looking at the ball method. In the, uh, what we're going to look at really specifically today is how the Bong Tan positions from Wing Chun can also be used to actually uh, uh, control weapons and actually basically master weapons as well very very quickly. Because through the lessons itself we've been eliminating this left right dominance uh, in our chi sao, in our actual movement, so there is no difference between left and right. So left becomes as proficient as the right is if you're if you're right-handed, or your right becomes as proficient as your left if you're left-handed. So, looking at the bong tan position here and here, if we actually translate this now to literally weapons, I'll just put the ball down. I'll firstly start with the bow staff, and I'll move back a little bit. So you can see, if I start in the centre here, and I bring it here, you'll see that I have a bong tan position. Okay, so you can see if I bring it back, bong, and then tan position. Okay, and this is how I can work from my right, as well as if I change bong tan, also no different from the left. Okay, so the bong tan position, when we start using Wing Chun, like here you can see I'm punching. Okay, you can see here I'm starting to block with a bong sao. Okay, you see here I'm doing a bouncing punch or what would be seen as an uppercut using the tan position. Okay, but if I switch to the other side, no different. Okay, I'm punching blocking like a bong sao position here like you see bouncing okay same thing when i go to a single weapon okay if you look same thing bong tan position okay i switch to a bong tan position no different with the weapon okay so when i'm using this you can see that there is no difference when I switch from left to right where I can come back, okay, I can switch, okay, I can switch to come back, okay, no different, punching, blocking with the bong towel, hitting, okay, so when we go to the double weapons, very very similar, you can see here if I work the tan sao position you can see I can start to hit from here punching okay blocking blocking you can see bong sao jum sao what be here pak sao okay all the time when I'm actually using two weapons now just like you can see I've always got a bong tan position here, kun. Okay? Same with the swords themselves from Wing Chun, the butterfly swords. No different again. Just like you saw with the sticks. If I do this with the blades, you can see I'm doing no different to what I was working on with the bow staff with the sword, with the sticks, okay? And now with the butterfly swords. See, bong tan, bong tan, bong and tan, okay? So that's a lesson 19. I've come back for lesson 20 when we're gonna carry on with the sticks. And like I say, we're gonna look at the form of the sticks for combat, okay? So each thing that we do now is to specifically hit, slice, block, keep at a distance if we're looking at the bow staff and also with the sword, getting this change so we can use left or right, it doesn't really matter. So that's lesson 19, I'll be coming back for lesson 20 and very happy training.